what is good you guys welcome back to my channel few things few things target has these big oversized hoodies you guys like i'm telling you it has the little thumb things in it i need to go back and get every color now because i'm just like my sweatshirt season is here and i'm ready for it and we got some new decks you guys so where are they i got two new decks and i wanted to do another pick a card reading with you guys but i really don't buy a whole lot of decks i usually get attached to my decks like um i get so in tune my intuition becomes so in tune with them so when i do come across the decks that i really feel drawn to i'm so excited to get those because it is rare for me to just buy a whole bunch of decks so we're gonna be doing a how are people view viewing you right now how are people viewing you right now so we do have two decks so we have the tarot of the divine for pile one tarot of the divine and this deck is so pretty i was just looking at the cards a minute ago and i was like it's so pretty and then we also have the sweet foragers tarot i don't know if you guys can see it but these drawings on this in this deck is so cute like they're fairies like i don't know i just like the little different type of you know it's just cute it's cute but i like it and i just i'm excited to read with it but sweet forager for pile two how are people viewing you all right so pick your pile and we're gonna get right into the reading Pile one, you are the Tarot of the Divine, and this deck has a lot of different folklore um, stories and a lot from a, a lot of different cultures and civilizations. So you could be someone that's definitely into history, or like you you like to learn about other cultures, that sort of thing. We have three thirty three on my clock right here, so you are a creative. You could be a Gemini, a Virgo. You could be someone who's very punctual, straight to the point. I'm also hearing type A. So let's get into this reading and let's see what people are thinking or how they're viewing you right now. All right. Let's see for my pile one, how are people viewing you? I'm hearing, whoa, that's different. So I'm hearing someone say, whoa, that's different. Let's see. We got the Knight of Cups. Ooh. Okay, so I get this. You're displaying something new. You're doing something completely. It seems like a, a big 180 you've made recently. This could be like, like in terms of Virgo and Gemini, like communication. You may be speaking up more, speaking out more, talking more, sharing more. You could be doing something completely different than other people may have thought. It's something about like you took a detour. I'm hearing you took a detour. We have a seven of cups in reverse, six of cups. Let's see. Seven of cups in reverse and the six of cups. I do feel like you have gotten crystal clear. I really think that at this time, you've really taken a good hard look about the things that you've enjoyed in your past or in your childhood, there's some sort of like nostalgia or going back to the past to pull something into the present. So this could be you really getting focused on something that you really enjoy to do from childhood. I also do see with the, we got the five of cups in reverse clarifying the knight of cups. It definitely feels like you're getting your... You're, you're getting your emotions in check or you're no longer sad about something. I do feel like how people used to view you is they were looking at you and you kind of seemed sad or you seemed like there was a lot weighing on you, like a heavy, like a despair look. Like you just didn't feel good about yourself and people could kind of sense that. But there's something that of how you're speaking up or the way that you're maneuvering, which is bringing in different people are feeling different ways about you. They're feeling very different about you. You got the four of swords in reverse. So I do feel like you possibly have cut your family off for some of you, or you have stopped talking to your family about every single decision you make, every move you make. You've also definitely are not telling anybody about what you're going, what's going on in your home life or what, or you're a little bit more mysterious right now. So people can sense this energetic shift 
in you like i said you could be speaking out more or you could just when people i'm hearing people catch glimpses of you possibly through social media or through seeing you out and about and you, there's there's this sort of like lightheartedness that you are carrying right now because i'm seeing someone just kind of walk through life and like their hair is in the wind and i'm also getting like a cd player like an old walkman oh my gosh like where you put the headphones on and you're just kind of like strolling through feeling good so there's something here i feel like you've connected back to a part of yourself that kind of gives you a little bit more light-hearted energy so i do feel like with this five of coins clarifying this six of cups I feel like somebody feels left out or quite a few people feel left out or these are people that you no longer talk to because it seems like you're kind of riding solo dolo right now. You're being you're, you're kind of solo because I'm seeing like a hawk just flying through the sky very solo by themselves. So you could be definitely taking more time to pray, more time to meditate, more time to connect. And it seems like you've gotten by yourself and you're kind of you have been reminiscing or there's something here about people. People kind of want to know what's going on you see this crow in this picture here this crow it kind of seems like someone is trying to peek in and get some information on you or kind of see what you're doing because I like I said I don't feel as if you are very vocal about two two people from your past it kind of just seems like you took the lessons of the past with you and you're learning how to integrate them into this new level but let's see what you're doing here how are people viewing you wow we got the strength card this card is beautiful here you know what i'm getting just by this picture the movie brave you remember that disney movie brave i'm getting that it's kind of giving like you're you've been kind of brave you're out on your own you're doing something completely new you're tackling you're tackling something this is interesting because we have a crocodile a lion and i want to say this is like a bear too all kind of wrapped up in this animal right here so there's some sort of like you've tackled a lot in your life or you've really you've really made a massive change it's something that you've done that's like a complete like a radical shift here and so with this knight of wands in reverse you stop i feel like you stopped on the path that you were previously on and you just made a detour so it could have been like one of those things where you know how sometimes people they want to do something like like you know how ceos start a business and they get to the point where they've made the money and then all of a sudden they look up and they're like I don't want to do this anymore and then they just stop and then they go do something else like that's what it that's what it's giving it seems like you were doing something before that it seemed like it was working for you it seemed like you were doing something that was possibly making you money or putting yourself out there and then you just kind of got to this point where it just kind of was like you I don't want to do this anymore and so I see the five of wands here I do feel like you had some conflict with these people these are people that you've had conflict with it could definitely be five people I'm hearing five five friends or um people that it just kind of seemed like people that you were kind of like fucking with you're not fucking with them now because it just seems like you went through this internal change and i don't think that people understood what what was going on here so yeah we got the death card so you definitely went through this major like rebirth where you pulled the curtain back so i do see it's something about because i'm getting wizard of Oz, wizard of oz vibes with this meaning that you kind of pulled back pulled the curtain back and it kind of seemed seemed like you saw that you were the one running the show and that at any time you could change your life so it just seems like you just kind of did an abrupt change I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if we got the um tower card out so I feel like with the ace of cups you could have been really giving previously before and so now you have definitely turned your energy back to yourself so I feel like with this ace of cups in reverse it's like you snatched your energy back or your love back and we've got the king of swords in reverse so you're not telling anybody your plans or what you're doing and it just kind of seems as if you're moving from behind and i'm because i'm seeing someone that has a veil over their eyes so if you are into like magic or something like that you could possibly have cloaked yourself or you're just kind of hidden right now we have the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck so yes you just closed out a cycle and I, but i feel like it was a drastic shift it could it could be like a, a something like you just up and move and you go to this whole new city 
where no one knows you or you could be contemplating this or you just kind of like deleted all of your social media and now people are like man i don't know what happened with um with pile one yeah queen of wands in reverse i like i don't know what has caused you to really like pull your energy completely back and because I because you know what I'm getting I don't know if people are thinking because it's it's giving it's hard for people to pinpoint it's hard for these people to pinpoint because they do see that you are successful with the ten of coins all right or that you do have some sort of following or people that really like you for you it seems as if like you I'm because I'm hearing a sage so you may have a lot of knowledge or you are possibly sharing wisdom with others about what you know and you could be doing this on social media you could be a tarot reader too so it kind of seems as if like people know that you are actually making good money or you are still supporting yourself and they're kind of wondering how like you did this switch up so fast with what you were doing before and it seemed like it was stable and then all of a sudden today you're doing something completely different and it's working for you and they're like man how does power one do that because i can't do that for myself yeah seven of coins absolutely like you know you put in a lot of work in a lot of different areas on yourself and i feel like you just are i don't know it seems like you're just putting 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 little feelers out there or little Let's say if you want to try something new, and it could be a million of other things like pottery, like pole dancing, like boxing, like all this different stuff. You're kind of doing a little bit of each one. And it just kind of seems like you're just jumping into learning all these different things. And by you doing that, it's kind of like you're just on this path to... to expand yourself. It seems like expansion, but it's like a quiet expansion. Yes, the Empress card. Yeah, I think your piece is very important now. So I do think people believe that your piece is very important. You could be of a Hispanic descent, but I'm getting that people could just see that you are chilling within, like sitting back. That's a three. So definitely communicating, but with your presence, with the way that you're showing up. It seems, it seems I'm hearing you sound different too. They're saying your voice sounds different. It doesn't sound meek. It sounds like it's very quiet, but at the same time, there's a lot of power behind it or there's a lot of intention behind the words that you're saying or whatever you're doing. And it just seems that people are getting to know another side of you from behind a veil or because it kind of seems like, you know, like a bridge. Like you're on one side of this bridge and then it's like these people are on the other side and they got their binoculars and they're kind of like trying to see and then they can see, but at the same time they can't see up close. So it's giving these people don't have an up and close and personal seat with you. So let's see. Yeah. Knight of Swords. So it's like you don't give people any room to say or impart their their knowledge or wisdom on you or try to give you any unsolicited advice. Because with the temperance card, you're just like, look, I don't need anybody to, to tell me what they think or try to try to tell me what I should do or how I should do it. It just seems like your life is very peaceful right now. But it's giving like you're stiff arming people. So why are you stiff arming people? You're stiff arming people. Three of coins in reverse, yeah. It could be just people have betrayed your trust or have betrayed you. I'm getting something about like something about like someone possibly could have stolen some of your ideas or moved or tried to one up you in a certain area. And so I feel like you it, it kind of seemed like your life was not conducive to the person that you truly desire to be meaning that if you look around and you see the friends that you have are not people that you truly get along with like they're gossipers like amongst each other so you know they talking about you if they talking about another mutual friend to you it's kind of giving that but it's also giving like not the type of support that you hoped for on whatever you were previously doing or or going for i'm hearing photography or something pertaining to like a creative endeavor you may have not got this support from those people and so now you're like okay like I had to just leave it and you see all these skulls back here so it just gives that there was a lot of things in your life that just were not 
like a lot of different pillars that just were not what you wanted it to be. And it seemed like you were in this innocent position and it was just all these people or all these situations around you that kind of just were, was bringing you BS after BS after BS. And it just seemed as if you just was like, with the 10 of wands we had, you were just like, I'm just going to cut everything off and start over. So I'm getting someone say that they don't really know you. This could be a Sagittarius, a, I'm getting a lot, a lot of fire sign energy. So these people could be fire signs. You could be sensitive. So you could be a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio. It's something about your energy is really calm. And it just seemed like people were just like, cause I'm getting like a raw, like a raw type of energy. Like, I don't know. It's like giving that they had to like try to say something to you. Yeah. But with the four of wands in reverse, you just didn't feel stable or comfortable around these people. And so it's kind of giving that you take yourself out of a position and implant yourself somewhere new. And when you implant yourself somewhere new, it sends the right amount of people there for you. So I split the deck. We got the eight of coins here. So it's something about like, if you see this picture, this is very, very pretty. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, so she's doing a lot of work on herself. She's doing, it's like all this wisdom that's trying to come out of her. And she's just taking all this um, stuff that's weighing her down or tying her up, like, or making her work hard in a different direction. So I do feel like people feel that you, that you're more free with what you're doing. You see here, I didn't even notice this, but her feet here, let's see if you can see it. Her feet, like they're hurting. They're red at the bottom, like from tired of tired, tired from working so much or expending yourself or trying to make these people like you or be your friend, something to that degree. It's, it's kind of like you had to, these people are used to you actually going above and beyond for to be their friend and to be included in their groups or to be seen. It just seemed like at one point you possibly were trying hard. And so now you know that you're not trying hard. You're not doing anything anymore. So these people view you as someone who's like standing up for themselves. Yeah. Knight of coins in reverse. You're not taking any small stuff anymore. And so you have the three of swords. It's like, look, you, you know, these people be talking about you, but you don't even be worried about it. Cause it's like, like, you got to talk from behind me anyway. Like, you can't come and talk that up in my face because you got to be, you got to walk around pretty much. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, page of swords in reverse. It, you just get very closed off energy, though. But I don't feel that this is a bad thing because it's giving that you're keeping your blessings, your um, intellectual property, only sharing that with the right people. You could have started to create a new type of community for yourself. And with the eight of swords in reverse, it's kind of like you're not sharing. It's like you've done the work. So it's like all that knowledge and that wisdom that you were giving these people, kind of like you were that person that that they took all the knowledge from. Like the, you, you were the person that these people possibly like took knowledge from or kind of try to take on your ideas or take on your personality. It kind of gives like personality thieves so but it seemed that before you didn't say anything because you were just so kind and and nice kind of giving like a nice person nice guy nice girl but yours but it's not in you to be a nasty negative person is what I'm getting so yeah with the eight of swords here absolutely you see, you had to go in and do all that work. So you, it's kind of like you, you realize that you were the one like, or your timid energy or your fear of not being and doing what it is that you truly wanted to do. It kind of gives that you were doing something that you thought that you had to do. And this could even be in those relationships, trying to make people like you, trying to get people to see you in a different light. It just kind of gives that. So it seems as if you're like, yeah, no, five of swords in reverse. It just, all the conflict, you just left from that. And I just really like this energy because with the two of swords in reverse too, you're sure of yourself. You're sure of what you want. And it seems like you have some sort of like care and compassion for yourself. That's really, really, that's people could really admire. Yeah. Four of coins in reverse. Like you're sure it's, it kind of gives like, like a, like, you know, one of those clubs that you kind of get inducted into, like, or like a sorority or like, not necessarily like a sorority, but like a Girl Scouts, Boy Scout, but it's something like that. It's like a club, something like that, that you get inducted into or that it kind of seems as if you've put yourself at the head of this. 
and you decided that, look, if I'm not getting what I want or if I don't have the type of people or there's something that you're just wanting to be. And it kind of seems like a definitely something that's authentic. I hope you guys get what I'm saying. So let's say that if you were not thriving in your other life or amongst other people or your friends or communities, when you take yourself out of that situation, situation and implant yourself in a new reality and though for a short period of time you may not have friends you may not have people that know you or understand you or or whatever it's kind of like you started doing your own thing anyway and people are gravitating towards that so it seems to me that these people from your past are looking through the lenses lenses of all these other people or they're trying to figure out like through the through other people's profiles or through through your your community or through it because it kind of it kind of gives me like social media like let's say you're a tarot reader and like nobody knows you do tarot then they find like your channel and or whatever you do your your social media and they kind of go through your videos and then they realize that they've never known you like this whole time or that you're someone completely different yeah two of coins in reverse but yeah the magician in reverse so it's like but you're not it, it's kind of gives like these people are like wow I did not know that how one was that intuitive or that knowledgeable or that like that they had the answers because it's something about people thought that you that you really didn't know what you was doing before even though you were kind of like giving successful or were okay or doing fine for yourself these people didn't know so yeah, but yeah, the hermit card, but you did yourself a complete service by pulling your energy away in the hangman in reverse. Like, so the illusions definitely started to fall away. Power one, this is amazing. Yeah, the moon card and the tower card, it was kind of like that abrupt ending like we talked about. You just had an abrupt ending. And so yeah, the ace of swords, you didn't say anything. You just kind of went away really quietly. So ace of swords in reverse, it's kind of like giving, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm not trying to work on this anymore more I'm gonna just end it dead it and I'm just gonna like go do something else and be by myself for a while and so it just seems like you come more into yourself by doing that and these people are witnessing that yeah justice in reverse they know you're not gonna be able to to be they because it kind of gives like they know they can't be friends with you anymore or they know they can't be with you anymore because they see that they didn't have the right kind of open spirit to accept you or really get to learn from you completely and so when they thought that they were the emperor or they were the person to go to they realized now that it was you pile one the whole time that you that you that you knew what you was talking about mm -hmm. so it's like page of wands in reverse cherry in reverse seven of swords in reverse it just seems like there's no way back yeah ten of wands queen of cups yeah Queen of Cups in reverse, they, it, it kind of gives like you're just shut off to that past version of yourself. And even if you're here, like, and you know that you're no longer going back to these people, trust me, they know that they cannot come into this new reality because it just seems that you guys don't even match up. All right. So anything else? I do see a lot coming towards you, though. We got the Nine of Cups, the Judgment in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune, and then the Sun card. It just seems like your happiness is kind of being kind of being shown through you doing whatever this is you're doing now with the people you're doing it with now. And it seems as if people are just viewing you completely different. And it just seems that what they couldn't see before, they could see now. Because it seems as if you've had a, like, like you were cloaked this whole time. Like, nobody nobody really knew you pa one like even your family like nobody really knew you you could have been been masking the whole time if you have like autism or neurodivergence that people like to say you it kind of seems as, as if you were masking the whole time and then it got to a point where you just had to unmask and you had to let it go and so it just seems that people are like shocked that they don't know you or they never knew you and they kind of like man but pile one was amazing but then they look and they sit, see okay but i wasn't that person that was loving and open enough to allow pile one to be themselves and it just kind of seemed that i kind of blocked my abundance with the nine of the queen of coins in reverse so yeah the full card in reverse at the bottom of the deck they know that it kind of like by you not being in their life anymore it kind of is giving a little stagnant on on their end 
Because I think that they thought too, that if they ever came back by you they, and they would see you, that you would be down in the dumps and that you wouldn't, it kind of like just seemed that you fell off the face of the earth. And now they're like, well, I didn't know that they were actually going on to do something greater than what they were doing before, but you are. All right. So, Pawan, thank you so much for being here and listening to this reading. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next reading. Pile two was good. Pile two, you are next. We're going to see what people are, how people are viewing you, how you're coming across. And it seemed like pile one was that pile that was kind of like nobody knew them. But I feel like these people know exactly who you are and they know you don't play. All right. So, let's get right into it. All right, let's see. I shuffled these cards earlier. They, they're so pretty. I can't wait to share the um, imagery with you. So let's see, pile two. How are people currently viewing you? All right. How are people currently viewing my pile two? <laughs> these pictures are so cute. We got the Page of Daggers, Page of Swords, the Six of Wands in reverse, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, so somebody feels like curved. I'm hearing curved. People feel like you are curving them or they see that you're curving a lot of people right now. It kind of seems as if you're uninterested or disinterested in people right now. And then we have the Five of Daggers in reverse. Kind of like you don't have very much to say, but it kind of gives like, I'm trying to see someone I could compare it to. So if you've ever watched Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, like Hillary on there on the old season with Will Smith, it was kind of like she was like whatever to everyone else like she was bougie but like when people tried to holler at her she was just like the people she didn't really care or who wasn't giving a lot of effort she was just like ill whatever like it kind of gives that a little bit <laughs> so clarify this six of wands in reverse it feels like you're not recognizing someone someone wants your recognition knight of cups in reverse it could be a water sign or there's someone that wants to show you that they actually like you or want to let you know that they definitely like you let's see we got the lovers in reverse exactly <laughs> so this for sure a ex or for sure someone that you are no longer talking to they're like listen like i'm trying to love on you and you won't let me but it seems to me that you possibly felt smothered by this person or there's something that you can't quite get over from the past it's something that that definitely disgusted you with this person I'm hearing like disgusted like ill like I'm so turned off by you like don't talk to me so what happened how was how are people viewing you I know it's this one person for sure viewing you this way king of crystals yeah could be an earth sign we got the empress here and then the nine of cups you should see the empress card you guys it's a it's a um <laughs> it's a merman but yeah the empress card so you could like the sidebar you might like a lot of fruit you might like to eat fruit like pomegranate but with the nine of cups it just seems as if like this person thinks you're the one is this someone is this someone else from the past here ace of daggers this is someone that got a lot to say to you and then we got the knight of crystals too so i feel like you're making this person feel as if they are a knight instead of a king but i do feel like this is someone that actually is a king this is someone that is i don't know it's kind of like giving that this person thinks that they're like the shit and then you're someone that's not phased by them at all so this could be someone that has short hair like a short haircut kind of like a high top fade or this is someone that has locks this is someone that has um i'm getting something about pretty boy they're a pretty boy or someone that thinks that they look good and everyone should worship the ground that they walk on but to you you're like yo like why would i ever do that have you seen me like but you not me like it's given but you not me like i'm the shit right so yeah we got the queen of crystals in reverse so it's kind of like giving your mirroring the back to them like okay but you're not me <laughs> you're not me so it's like you know your worth and it's like but you're not showing your hand when it comes to this person let's see do you like this person is it a strategy or is this the per way the person is really making you feel two of daggers <laughs> So I feel like you don't know if you really like this person or not. It's something about this person that annoys you, but it's something about them that you like too. So this person could definitely be an Aquarius. They could be very like, um, 
like a comedian or funny or they're just very like witty because it kind of seems like they have a lot of comebacks kind of seems like this is someone that you flirt with on and off but some part of them you're like ew like you know it's kind of like a part of the game like this thing between you guys where it's like you might really like this person but you got to pretend like you don't all right so yeah ten of wands in reverse like I said this could be someone that you've definitely dealt with in the past but it seems as if you kind of leave this door open with this person here so you you might actually really like this person but I don't know what this is that you're kind of like mm. but this person is viewing you like man I don't have a chance to really ground this with them with Paul too here you see this Oh my gosh. Yeah, you see this? It's like they're kind of sitting in this room and they're like, I can't really like ground this because Pal 2 is not letting me in. So we got the Six of Daggers in reverse. I don't know. It's like, it seems like you're not hearing what they have to say about something. You're not completely listening to them. What is this? Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay. There's some darkness in this card right here. So it kind of seems as if this person kind of like, they may have had other intentions when you guys were talking before and it kind of seems like you don't want to be played like a fool by this person but you like this person so that's why you got you kind of like flirt with them but at the same time you're like nah I don't really like fuck with you like that but but you kind of want to but it seems as if this person definitely hurt your feelings seven of cups there was a lot of other choices this person had and it just seems as if, as if you possibly were open with them at one point in time but now you're just like no there's a little ghost right here they could have like ghosted you like for other options it just seems as if this person didn't know what they really truly wanted and so the judgment here you kind of call it judgment and was like nah I'm not gonna deal with you I can't I can't deal with you because you're not like you're showing me that you're not loyal is what I mean <laughs> you tell this person you're showing me that you're not loyal at all yeah, we got the three of crystals in reverse. These cards are so pretty, you guys. But yeah, so the three of crystals in reverse, it's like, it's giving you're going to make this person work for it you're like because but the threes is communication they could also be a gemini virgo or you you're giving me someone that although you're gorgeous because i see that you're gorgeous you could wear skirts you could if you're a uh, masculine you can dress up in suits or wear dress pants and i'm seeing chelsea boots but um i love chelsea boots on the man like when he really know how to dress it up <sighs> But it kind of gives it like you're going to make this person truly work for you with the three of crystals. It's like, look, you're not going to get in that easy. Like, because I'm a gem, I am a diamond and you got to like come like really make it make it happen to come get towards me. So it kind of seems as if you kind of let this person know subtly by the way that you act. And so they're like, OK, like they view you completely different because it seems like they kind of thought it would just be easy to kind of like get back. Yeah. So let's see, is there anybody else? Because I'm only getting this one person that really has their eyes peeled on you. Nine of crystals. This person wants to ground and bloom something with you. Three of wands, yeah. It's a cute card. But with the three of wands, it just seems as if you're like, mm, but it, it, it kind of just seems too like you're you're waiting for something to change or you're waiting to see something from this person but also you're you're wanting to see the world too so i think your priorities may just be different right now so it's like when you had time for this person you were all about it but they weren't all about it but now you're like listen I'm about to go see the world. I'm about to go do something. So you could kind of just sit on the side while I, it's my turn to kind of figure out what I want to do. So this is someone, it's giving me like, you ever seen the movie Love and Basketball? Like knowing, knowing someone from like sandbox days and then you kind of like, like this person you guys kind of start dating like in elementary or something if you could even call it that and then at one point you guys stopped talking because they could have liked you know went for the popular girl and then now they're they're back and you're like but I'm not the same and like now you discuss me like now they're what, older because you still think that you're the shit but at the same time like you're not me like look at me like you're that's how that's what it's giving me so it seems as if this person has to kind of go above and beyond to get your attention we got the temperance card in reverse it seems as if like you kind of could turn this person upside down they could be like a basketball player or they could play ball they could be like a, i'm hearing overseas a basketball player or something like that but it seems as if this person has some sort of status or they have some sort of like 
recognition and with the king of wands in reverse this person is trying hard to not be a player anymore is what i'm hearing because i'm hearing that song i don't want to be a player no more yeah and not have won so it's like now they're trying to they're it's kind of like they're dialing it back because it seems like although they're a king and they have a lot in their own right they're dialing it down because they're like okay i need to take my ego out of this situation and i need to humble myself so i'm hearing Nicki minaj humble humble yourself in the presence of a queen <laughs> you could be a sagittarius it could be your birthday coming up so you like look humble yourself in front of a queen okay i like this energy you have though it's very it's very very spicy for sure so yeah two of cups in reverse you're not giving yourself away easily or you're not letting this person know your hand it's like they could just be trying and it's like you're giving them a little but at the same time you're like no so this person kind of views you as like someone that they really have to work hard for if they really want you they're gonna have to work hard for you nine of wands <laughs> seven of crystals in reverse ace of crystals they see you as someone that's very like mysterious maybe you don't tell them what's going on in your life anymore or what you're doing you kind of just do your thing and when they call you you might answer sometimes you might not answer so it just seems with the ten of daggers it's like this person is like oh my gosh like i can't get the information that i want from this person and so with the ace of crystals it's like this person is like well how am i going to try to really ground things down with this person because they not let me and so although you may not have a ton of like options outside of this person it does seem as if you're you have life options and so you're very you're kind of swimming in the sea of possibilities so you're not ready to fully make a decision when it comes to this person just in case they want to act up again all right so let's see how are people viewing you eight of daggers ten of crystals some people think that you need to you need to work on your attitude or work on work on yourself because I'm hearing like acting like your shit don't stink, but ten of crystals. I feel like you're resilient. You're you're resilient. You're gonna get what you want. You're that person that's like I'm gonna get what I want at all costs or like whatever I feel like if, if something is not working for me I'm gonna walk away or I'm gonna walk towards what I know or what what I know I want. So it kind of gives me that you're willing to always go on a journey. You're willing to go do what it is that you want to do. You're willing to move forward. And I kind of feel like you intimidate a lot of people because they don't have that same sort of like get up and go like you do to like, you know, be who it is they truly want to be. So it just seems to me, you give me Megan Fox vibes, also Rihanna vibes. So like I said, Waterside, you could be a Pisces. It just seems as if you're very like, I am who I am type of energy. But yes. <laughs> We got the will of fortune. I feel like people think when you come around, when you come around, like it seems like all eyes are on you because I'm hearing Tupac's all eyes on me. You could like a lot of music. You could be from California. It seems to me that you just listen to a lot of music. You vibe out like you just kind of it's kind of given like you it kind of comes off from the outside looking in that you don't care about anybody but yourself. Like you're just very focused on your own happiness. Like you're not going to move out of this space for anybody. So it just seems like with this light and dark, you do have a very good balance of your light or dark. But you, the one thing about you that I don't like is you don't shy away from your darkness. And you don't shy away from like how people are going to view it. It kind of gives like you don't care if people view you in a negative light because it's like you're still going to be who you want to be. And so with the chariot here, I do feel like you're, you, and you move slow. Cause I'm seeing like someone that moves slow, moves, like you just move slow. Cause I'm seeing like, um, you could be, you could identify with dark femininity or like tendencies. Also, I'm seeing Kali, Medusa, Lilith. That could be very, those um, deities could be very important to you. Yeah, the hermit in reverse. I feel like you're loud about it though. I'm also seeing that you could possibly dress like emo or you could dress like in black, wear like a whole bunch of black fishnets, leather, red lipstick, you know, that's my vibe, but like that sort of thing. So it's kind of gives that, that kind of gives that vibe too. Kind of like, you know, like you a baddie, like you a baddie baddie and you, you ain't apologizing for it. That's what we love to see. 
So page of swords in reverse. I hear you got to come harder, harder than that. You got to come harder than that. Yeah, we got the devil card. And I don't see this like in a negative way. It's kind of you like, look, if you want to fuck with me, you're going to have to work harder than that. That's what I feel like you're saying. And so <laughs> we have the queen of cups here. You're like, I'm just enjoying myself. It kind of like you got to come to the queen. People feel like they, if they want something or like they feel like they really got to come towards you. They have to come towards you. So it feels like people are viewing you like they want to know about you, but they really got to come towards you because not a lot of people know your business. So if they want to know something about you, they got to ask you. Because I'm hearing ask about me, ask about me. I'm a hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler. So you might, you might be that girl, just get your money. You might be that person that just gets your money. You could be a dancer. You could be a um, professional dancer, or you can be, um, you know, we support the naked hustle over here. So it kind of seems like you could do that too. Or this is something that you do, like, like you may go out of town and do it sort of thing but yeah we got the four of crystals in reverse it kind of seems like you're not stable or rooted in one place but it seems like you're rooted within yourself but you kind of move around a lot or you don't have like one particular home base so it kind of seems like people can't really catch you or perceive you or know what you're doing and also the person that really likes you and wants to talk to you it kind of seems that they have a hard time catching up with you because it's like you're always going so people don't it kind of seems as if you're kind of rolling by yourself right now mm-hmm king of daggers yeah this haircut this haircut was what i was seeing in my um vision here like you know she got one side of her head shaved like this is kind of how you give me that like that imagery but also too like rihanna remember when she cut one side of her hair shaved one side of her head yeah and imp the emperor and the emperor like so you give very masculine energy too like if you're a feminine because i do feel like you're a feminine but you kind of give a little more masculine energy but not in a way that's overpowering powering it's in a way that's empowering so it seems like you you know what you want you take action on what you want you don't let anybody stand in your way so yeah we got the four of daggers in reverse yeah I feel like before you kind of were a little naive in some aspects, but I feel like through whatever you've been through and learning how to, to, cause I'm hearing parent yourself or reparent yourself or kind of if you had father issues or didn't have people show up for you or have been used to people um, backstabbing you, it kind of seems as if, as if you've taken on more of that father role for yourself to guide yourself through life and get yourself to where you want to be. So this is why you don't stay in one place all the time. You just kind of move around. Yes, we got the divine. Oh, look, I like this divine card. Yes. So you just could be safe and secure with yourself, trusting yourself. Yes, I love that. The divine is the high priestess card. So you just know yourself. You really know yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes, we got the death card. Look at you. Just transforming. I feel like every time people get to people, it seems like when people know, meet you or they, they get to know you, they uncover layers and layers and layers and layers. It kind of seems as if like you're a never ending like a never, like, it just seems like it's never ending with you. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands, the Fool card, and let's see, the Four of Cups. So I do feel like this person, the person that we're talking about that wants to really get with you, it kind of seems as if you're like, they're kind of like, man, like, I don't know, like, maybe I should give up. But at the same time, they're holding up hope, they're holding hope. And with this Ace of Wands, I feel like they're going to get creative about how to approach you with the full card. It seems like they got to meet you on their level because they're trying to meet you up here thinking that they're the shit, but they're not acknowledging that you are the shit too and that you have a good self-concept about yourself. So I think this person is realizing they're going to have to start to like put you up here too and share the spotlight with you in order to like at least be in your presence is what I'm getting. <laughs> yes we got the two of wands in reverse you're like look i'm not gonna go for it so you got to make a clear decision when it comes to me so i'm telling you people see you as that person that's like man we want to know about pile two but you got to really committed if you come in at pile two so yeah and i do feel like people probably gossip about you about what you do your occupation how you always got money how you always stay fly i'm seeing you always got your nails done you always looking good. You always got an outfit on. I'm hearing like Barbie core or something like that. Or like you dress up really nicely. I'm seeing latex, mini skirts, um, like ice spice. It kind of gives like ice spice. I think she's a Capricorn, but it kind of gives ice spice. Yeah. So yeah, Knight of Daggers in reverse. It's like, look, don't step to me with any small stuff. You really got to come to it 
come to come with it you know if you're coming towards me and so with the moon card here as well I just get that look, look at that face it kind of gives like whatever that's the way I see your face it kind of gives like whatever it's whatever it's cool it's whatever like we're here so it just kind of gives like mysterious and you could have like a resting bitch face too so I feel the way people see you they're kind of like man we just don't know who this person is <laughs> but we got the king of cups here this person is definitely going to keep like making it happen I do feel like you will give this person a chance eventually but you won't have to see something first all right and then with the four of wands we got that stability so yes this is home life partnership that sort of thing it could definitely be that when it comes to this person so I definitely feel like good things are in store for you and if this is working for you look who's to say that it's wrong you being the way that you want to be because it seems very authentic and you know we love authenticity over here so how to I'm actually going to leave this reading here if you like my reading don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next reading bye